Solo un poquito más, Tito. No llegaremos. Injectil Ik, Kaktunja, Simbogo, Tempike Bakteyjepta, Akmatka Aktan, Bakteyjepta Ak Axil. La tormenta ya no es una preocupación. El Jade me da poder sobre la naturaleza. Oh, de verdad. Ven. Estamos cerca, nieto. Quizás los gringos nos paguen suficiente por nuestra mercadería para tener las panzas llenas durante el invierno. Vamos. El mundo de los gringos es diferente. Tienes que tener mucho cuidado. Entiendo. ¿Dónde están los gringos? No sé. ¿Abuelo? Apurémonos. Magia negra, tenemos que irnos ahora. Deja eso, ¿por qué estás juntando eso? Señora, ¿necesita. ¿Do you need help? ¿Estás bien? Toma. right to cast you out.
este muerto. Charles dead. We've lost another one. I need an heir. These putas are strong enough. Easy there, sweetie. You're okay. It's just another bad dream. Hey, Tessa. Why don't you go lay down on the couch? Try to get some real sleep. I'll keep my bro here company. It's okay. Thanks, Jason. Sorry, I just, I was too tired to make anything. No, no, that's, you should take some sleeping pills, girl. You look kind of awful. <laughs> Thanks a lot, sorry. <laughs> Are you still having nightmares? Um. Why isn't Danny back here with you, the slouch? He's driving. He's trying his best, but I mean, how can he help when he hasn't even taken a moment to feel it himself? I don't know. Danny's a big boy. Kind of a little more worried about you. Look, I'm... Okay, I'm not at all saying that I know how you feel. At all. But, um, my sister had a miscarriage. It, it took her a long time to get over it. It's just... The idea of never having children again. I mean, that was supposed to be our life. The doctors don't know everything, honestly. I mean, maybe you still can. I know, I'm just, I'm scared. What if I don't? Anything you want to talk about, I'm here. If you feel like it. How much longer until we reach the site? Soon we can't miss it. It's the only thing out there for miles. Okay, let's liven this place up a bit. Cocktails, anybody? I'll take one. Mm -hmm. Gary, baby, you want to change your name to Madame Zara, because you just read my mind. Oh, OK, take my drink. See, I thought you came on this humanitarian adventure to escape your life of vice. Well, I came to write a human interest story. And right now, I'm interested in drinking. I still can't believe you got your magazine to print an article on Habitat for Humanity. Kudos. Yeah, well, one can only write so much about Britney Spears. I'm all about the real life. The glitz is overrated anyway. Barn raisings. Now that's where it's at. We are raising barns, aren't we? No. <laughs> Man, Texas is big. It's 
kind of weird. Like, there's nothing out there except Texans. <laughs> the hell? There might be somebody hurt. There's no one in there, man. Did you see that? It looked like a bloody yeah. stuff. We gotta make camp for a dark dog. I'll call 911. No service. I'll try the CB. Radio doesn't have a police channel. I doubt we'd be able to pick up anyone. I can at least try. What if somebody. Just keep it down, man. Tess might hear. If there was someone in that van, they're long gone dead, Jason. We should just stay out of it. No one else needs to know about it. No one else needs to know about what? Okay, well, you just keep your little secrets then, mystery man. Oh. Breaker 19, Breaker 19 is the mystery mobile. Anyone out there? Come on back. Jerry, can you just go to the back and tell everyone that we're almost at camp? Breaker 19, any big mother truckers out there? Come on back, y'all hear me. Jerry, I'm serious. Will you just go back there, please? Breaker 19, y'all truckers do not know what you're missing. Can I get a 10 for an amen? You guys are no fun at all. That's a big 10 4, Sugar Tits. This is Storm and Norman. Come on back, Mr. Mobile. <laughs> What's your handle, pretty darling? What's your 20? I got a big old Texas log or just waiting for you to ride. Sorry, dude. I was just joking around. Over and out. Put it down now. Thought you was fooling old Storm and Norman, did you? That's not a nice thing for a pretty girl to do. How would you like me to take my Texas log or and ram it up your country kitchen? Nice. We're here. You okay, Karen? No, not. That guy was totally gross. Come on, Tess. Let's get some air. Hey. It's okay, Karen. It's just some greasy trucker wired on coffee and yellow jackets, is all. I bet the only women he ever sees are truck stop waiters whose name Bernice. Sweet Jiminy, would you two get a room already? <laughs> Matter of fact, you can have the one we just vacated. Sir. Ow. Pay no attention to the lingering odor of sex. It just follows me wherever I go. Oh, it smells more like tequila to me. I kid, I kid. <laughs> hey, Carrie, sweetie. What? Did I ever tell you about the time when Danny and I were 15 and we caught kid brother Jason here with a Victoria's Secret catalog and a jar of Vaseline? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> it took us years before we stopped calling him Lubricant Lad. Ah! You wound me, sir. Sorry, I thought you paparazzi types like getting punched. Yeah, well, that life is a world away now. All right, everyone, we best get to work out here. Speaking of which, the master beckons. It's 10-4, Danny boy. We're moving out. Let's go, lubricant lad. <laughs> so quiet and peaceful here. Hey, Carrie, can you get the food and get the table set up? I'll help, too. No. You need to rest. I'm not an invalid. Dirk, can you pay the park fee? There's an after-hour drop box by the entrance. Because I'm the only one making a decent living. Jason, come give me a hand with me up your like some water. Man, there's one of the mosquitoes here. What are those green leafy things over there? They're trees, Dirk. They grow from the ground, make oxygen. Maybe you've read about them. Only in obscure legends, my fair Kentucky. <laughs> Tell me more tales of these trees. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. This 
just a smashed up van, nothing more. Highway Patrol's probably towing it away as we speak. That guy in the CB is just a horny old trucker getting his kicks. This is supposed to be a vacation. A vacation. Yeah, I know. It's off to a pretty messed up start. All right, look, little brother. Tessa can't take any more undue stress. She's fragile, man. Got it. We'll just keep things light and sweet. Yeah. <laughs> The moon is coming up like a big ball head. Let the party begin. Since when has the party ended for you? Jesus. What the hell was that? Creature of the night is what that is. Scavenger. Coyote. Hey, guys, this is Bob. Bob Weaver. I think I gave... Jason and Danny here, a bit of a fright. <laughs> Truth to tell, I'm just surprised to see anybody out here. And this campsite don't see a whole lot of traffic in April. Yeah, we're avoiding the summer rush. Well, that's probably for the best. One thing that might wear on you, though, is the, uh, the isolation. For some people, that could be a problem. Not me, though. Hmm. Well, we're heading down to Padre Island, doing some work for Habitat for Humanity. Uh, what are you doing out here this time of year, Bob? Uh, you know, business. This is my usual route. There's only one motel in this area. It's over in Chester. Rents by the hour, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so I stop in here. I grab 40 winks before hitting the highway again. What exactly do you do, Bob? Whoa. I'm a cutlery salesman. I sell knives like these to every truck stop and restaurant up and down the interstate. Come here, take a look for yourself. Come on, I ain't gonna bite you. <laughs> Good one. That is quality stainless steel right there. You won't find metal of that caliber on the eBay, and that is for damn sure. Yeah, right. Traveling salesmen, crazy. I didn't know they still existed. Yeah, well, we're a dying breed, no doubt. That's all I've ever known. And I can't imagine myself not being anywhere but out in the open road. I got my CB and my AM talk radio to keep me company. That's definitely a nice knife. You give me 10 for it, she's yours. Yeah? Yeah. Sure, why not? I could use a new one. Well, if you're looking to buy a whole set, I've got some real beauties right here. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, sorry about that, Skeeter. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it has been pure pleasure chatting like this. You kids be careful in your travels. Stay on the main roads. Texas can be an unforgiving state, especially this close to the border. We will. I don't know if you saw that burned out vehicle back there off the road. It's an ugly sight. What vehicle? No, we didn't see anything. Well, as I said, just be careful. Oh, don't you worry about those coyotes. And we hardly got any left around these parts. I mean, nowhere near enough to gobble y'all up. <laughs> that little girl, maybe. <laughs> Not the whole group. <laughs> ah, yeah. Terrific. I feel safe now. That, my friends and family, was one seriously weird dude. I don't get why he's out here all by himself. I don't think old Bob has too much trouble handling anything. The guy's like special forces, probably Desert Storm or something. What? Am I the only one who caught that big tattoo on his forearm? Really? You people need to work on your powers of observation. Perry, you missed Bob. It's so black. Jesus, anything could be out there. You guys, you're not scared. Nothing to be scared of. It's just nature. I'm scared I won't get another job, man. <laughs> now, that's scary. I mean, I lost everything. All of my... Jason, we've all lost something. I'll never make my investments back, man. That's for sure. I'm done. I'm so drunk, I can barely see. Oh! 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 <laughs> I'm OK. <laughs> Drink more. Think less. Here's to nature, my friends. Ain't she beautiful? To nature. Come on. Nature! To nature! <laughs> to nature! <laughs> what? Y'all excuse me. I have to use the loo. The loo? <laughs> you know what? That girl of mine got the right idea. I think I'm gonna go out into the wilds and do some fertilization. Hey, 
Hakeem Wasabi, why don't you just wait for Kerry? No way, Danny boy. There's nothing quite as refreshing as pissing out into the open air. It makes me feel manly. Wait! I could use another room. Danny, you want one? Uh, no. I should probably save two for breakfast. Yeah, sure. Whatever. <laughs> All right. You didn't expect that, did you? Oh, shit! We're less than a day away from the coast, honey. Being by the water will make you feel better. It'll be nice to taste the ocean air again. I've just been feeling so landlocked in Colorado. You know, that knife guy Bob doesn't know what he's talking about. He's out here with the wide open sky and the rolling hills and the road ahead of us. Out here I feel free. Yeah, me too. I'm just a little worried. I'll be fine. You know, I just, I need this time. We could always adopt. You're a good husband and a good friend. I'll be fine with you here for me. And all of us will, even, even Dirk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Where the hell is he? He's been gone for a long time. Okay. Now, just, where the hell am I? All these trees look the same. No, no, no. Babylon fire goddess, look upon these women, these lost souls, foul and in need of our redemption. Babylon, give them life! <laughs> I beseech you, Babylon. Let one be strong enough to carry our child to the future. Let one be worthy of eternal life. Child, are you ready to offer yourself to the fire? No! The fire shall not have you. Do you give yourself willingly to the fire? Damn, this is better than the Raisin Barn. Now this would make a great story. Are you ready to offer yourself to the fire? No. Then your time is up, child. Do you give yourself willingly to the fire? <laughs> Foolish mortal.
This one's ready. Look at her, brothers! Yes, I can see. The fire shall have you. This is... this is great. Mother! Deem her worthy to be one of us. He's been gone for a long time. Maybe I should go find him. I don't want you wandering out there in the dark. I thought it was just nature. You could get attacked by a rattlesnake, or worse. Yeah, the Dirk might be in some kind of trouble. Maybe he's just lost. Hey, do you have your cell? Well, even if he is carrying a cell, you think it's actually on? We've been on the road for, like, what, a day? And he's already taken seven calls from his editor. I don't think he ever turns it off. No reception. Wasn't Dirk playing with your walkie-talkie earlier? Maybe it's still on him. Uh, yeah, I don't know where the other ones are. not answering. alone out here. inside. Lock the door. And you belong to us. Kill you now. All right. Hello. Is anyone out there can you hear me? Where did a campsite? 
of the I-60 and uh, they're gonna kill us. If you can hear me, please, please, please help us. Why isn't anyone answering me? Anyone out there yet? You have to help us, please. Anyone there? Problem, Bob? You're damn right there's a problem, Bernice. I sold you folks the best knives out for cutting sirloin. You served me up a plate full of boiled tire rubber. Well, aren't we surly tonight? You know we can never keep cook long enough for him to learn how. Why is that? I don't rightly know. They disappear. There's a lot of people disappearing. Hmm. You want something else? Yeah, give me up a slice of that lemon meringue pie. I'm sorry, Bernice, I simply cannot eat that. survive out there. She'll get eaten alive. We'll find her, Hefe. She smells good. Let's round them up, boys. It's time to go. Hey, this one's still alive. Use your belt as a tourniquet. Let's keep them around. Let's keep them all around. We'll kill them while we're hungry. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so kill us. We won't say anything. We've got money. I told you to shut up. We <laughs> will. No, no, no. Please. Go ahead and feast. No, no. No, no. No, no. 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 There's the pretty one. Who does it? Oh, God damn it, you heard her! Gag him. No. Shut up. <laughs> Look at this, brothers. She wears the carpenter's cross. It's an omen. We gave her the flame and she came to us. Look at people. Please, please, let us go. No tears, child. You're home now. You hold a special place here. No, please. No. no. Please. 
Hmm. Damn, woman. Don't you know better to sneak up on a man like that? Sorry, Bob. I just want to let you know we got that truck shower waiting for you. Hey, are you okay? Yeah. I'm just thinking about some kids I met a ways back. Now, why are you doing that? When you should be thinking about what's right here in front of you. You know I got a wife, Bernice. Yeah, we all got our needs, sugar. You never see your wife, I never meet a decent man. I appreciate it. But I wouldn't be a decent man if I fooled around with you, now would I? All right. Anyway, shower is ready for you. <laughs> What do you want me to do with it? Salvage what you can, burn it with the body. Do it, Hefe. No problem. Let's do it. messing around for? Oh, smells like apple pie. You want we? Shut up and grab what we can use. Uh, suit yourself. He's still bleeding, Hefe. We want him up and around. Make it stop. All right. Hey, boys. This will bring him to life. Don't you favor us, brothers? Cast your mind back 70 years. On this very night, we assembled here. I, your pastor, you, my flock. I performed the ritual of Babylon, ensuring your eternal life. We reigned as kings in the new world, but now our queen has arrived. Bring her. She's the one. Babylon, the great earth mother of harlots and abominations, woman drunken on the blood of the martyrs of Christ. You, uh, you lost a child recently, didn't you? How did you know that? Prophecy, child. It was written long before you oozed out of your mother's womb. Don't you feel it? It's coursing through your veins right now. You need to revel in it, accept it. Throw you were born to play. Please, just let us go. Go where? You're already home. You're insane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm insane. Crowley told me I was insane. You lack the spiritual superiority and strength that is necessary for a leader. You are not sane enough. You of all people call me insane. Yes, I do. And you are not prepared. A worm among gods. His powers were meager next to mine. He was jealous. So what did he do? Banished me. Sent me to live among the savages. Now leave this place forever. I cast you out. So I left. Determined to become a power the New World had never seen. To show them that black magic is just the beginning. And my tribe grew and grew. Or as Crowley. We know how he turned out, don't we? Choking on his own spit. Slave to drugs. Here I am. Unchanged eternal. Just let us go, because you have the power to do that. I'll show you power. We're gonna show ah! you power. 
Stop! It burns. It's the nature of fire, child. It burns, and it gives you vision, but you have to want it. That's just how it works. What are you talking about? Listen to me. I can give you another child. That's what you want, isn't it? Tell me it's what you want, and give yourself to the fire. I... Into the bush. I offer you a seat in the throne of eternity, you deny me. <laughs> Conrado, get him up. I understand. I just haven't given you the proper motivation yet. Danny! <laughs> Sasa, don't do anything that he says. You got some balls, boy. Don't you dare hurt her. The question is, how far are you willing to go? Cut him loose. Ronald! Walk a hero's happy? Just like in Laredo? Absolutely. <laughs> this is all gonna become clear. Them about a hundred girls. Your woman can be a hundred and one, but that's up to you. So if you want her alive, you're gonna have to show us. So I suggest you take off those boots and walk to her like a man. <laughs> you won't kill her? <laughs> no. I won't kill her. First step's the toughest, kid. And you watch him. No, Daddy, please don't. <laughs> Please, don't. Silence. You meditate while you await your turn. No. And you watch him. You watch that boy take his first steps to adulthood. You know what it means to be a man. Danny, I'm sorry. I'm gonna ask you one more time. Are you ready to give yourself to the fire? I don't even know what you mean. Just, just let us go, please. It's not that bad. The others wouldn't, and they're all gone now. I said yes, and the light just filled me up. Came into me and filled me up. He can take the pain Get away. Get out of here. He can kill it. He can take the pain away. <laughs> Did you see how content she was? You can feel that. No. No. Please, are you 
germs or anything. No. Well, Curly, you get it on now. No, they're not. I have a disease. Oh, oh God, shut not... up. Oh, oh, shut up. Give me all your wands. What? No, no, no. I'm going to hear you. No. That's the strangest thing. No. Try it. No one's gonna hurt you. Now, where's Danny and the others? What happened here? Danny. <laughs> they took them. I, I was standing under the Winnebago and they chopped off Dirk's arm and they killed Jason and they said they were scared. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> slow down, girl. Who took them? Which way'd they go? No, no, please. <laughs> How can I stop when you so obviously doubt me? Are you willing to give yourself to the fire? I don't even know what you mean. That's a pity. Get the dogs. I promised you I wouldn't kill him. And that stands true. But there's a long road between life and death. Did you know that a man can lose three quarters of his body and still live for days? <laughs> It's true, I've seen it. Please don't do this. I beg you. Please don't do this. I beg you. Those dogs are big enough to eat half their weight in minutes. See those dogs? We have to feed them three times a day. Guess what they enjoy most? Live prey. They just... Let him go. Let him go, and I swear I'll do whatever you say. No, Tessa! What did you say? Yes, you will. Uh... Just let them go, and I'll do whatever you want. No! All I want is an answer to one question. Are you ready to give yourself to the fire? Yes. I willingly give myself to the fire. <laughs> Let there be light. Summon the creature of darkness, Babylon. Summon the creature of pain. I evoke thee from thy resting place in the bowels of the earth. I summon thine eyes to witness the fire of life. From the darkness come thee forth and show yourself. She is ours, brothers. Get him! Get your hands off my wife! Tess, 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 wake up. Come on, we gotta go. Where do you think you're going, Worm? You can't kill me. What are you? If you see my arm, be a lovely grab it for me, will ya? Get him inside. Thanks, Bob. Where are you get, going? Get the motor running. Why? I'm going to get the others. I don't get killed. Wake up, sleepyhead. It's time to consummate our union.
Everybody take it, you son of a That little girl's gonna need a whole lot more than a doctor. you back there. I remember darkness. That's black and I a voice. My baby's voice. Oh. 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 Something's wrong here. We gotta get to a hospital now. Yeah, well, I ain't taking it to a barbecue. Yeah. We're running out of booze. And blood. Okay. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs>
So, um, do you know where we are? Just south El Rio. Next town's about 50 miles. Okay. Okay, we could call for help. They'll send the police. We're in the army. Try the CB. Or not. I lost my cell phone when those guys came in. Do you have one? Sorry, darling. I'm a little old-fashioned that way. Up ahead, you guys, so just hold on. Dirk, where's your cell? I lost it when Danny walked with me. That's what started this whole thing. Danny? Lost it. I wish this all was a goddamn dream and that we'd wake up and Jason would be here. You think that's possible, baby? You think this is all just a bad dream? I don't know anymore. We're good now, okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Did you hear that? Ah! 
Where the hell are you? I'm just trying to keep us all alive. You two hang on till we get there. told you not to stop. Oh, oh. This is Sep Paterno. It's a ghost town. There ain't nobody here. Yeah. We're great. We got no doctor. We got no nothing. We're doomed. There's someone in the church. We could be safe in there. We never spend much time in one. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe the demon people eating biker monsters can't go in a church. Hey, uh, do you hear that? We gotta get out of here. We need to hide. We'll head for the church. I'll get Tessa. Wait, why don't we just drive out of here? Danny, we cannot outrun these things. Danny, get a move on it. Ow! I got you. I got you. Move your asses! Come on, Gary. Help me. Here, get them doors closed. When they come for us, they're gonna come hard. So you prepare yourself. There you go, darling. You all right? They are too powerful. That won't help. They will get in. Sooner or later. You have lured evil here. After years of struggling to be ready for tonight, you have found me. And destiny has delivered them to us. Well, now that we've found you, who the hell are you? Call me Father Tito. I am the last boundary before night's gray curtain covers us all. I'm Danny. This is Bob. Do you have a phone? No. I, too, would seek revenge against them. But out there, that belongs to them. I have very little power, yeah, save for this. My grandfather gave me this sacred Mayan talisman for protection. <laughs> I believe it can harness the powers of nature. You know what these things are. They're chasing us. Creatures of nightmare and hatred. Riders of the apocalypse. Desolatores. Look, I don't care about that, Padre. What I need to know is who the son of the Black Hat is. What exactly it is he wants. Better yet, I need to know how to stop him. Many have tried. But he goes on immutable, immortal. Immortal? What do you say? You say we can't kill him? Who the hell is this guy? He was once a devout Castilian priest, assigned to oversee renovation of a ruined church in the countryside of Spain. There, he unearthed a buried temple dedicated to the secret worship of Satan. La Bruya Negra, black magic, and soon his lust consumed him. And so he sailed to England, seeking more depraved souls. And 
There he assembled members of the occult, hoping to impress them with a demonstration that defied nature. He thought he had solved the dilemma of the human condition. But his heart was black. His intent, evil. Go to Babylon. Trust in me to serve you. Take this gift. Guide my hand to do your will. The flesh is before you. I give you flesh. His methods cruel. His intentions perverted. I, I gave her everlasting life. I gave her immortality. Ultimately, he was banished to America. In the worship of Satan, he discovered immortality. The only price? The consumption of human flesh. Now, he seeks an heir who will flow into the beast to bring the end of our days. And so he plants his seed, hoping for the one to bring eternal darkness. She's the one, my friends. Take her alive and kill the rest. Tonight, the child of the beast sucks its first breath, and we ride into a brave new world with new blood. Hey, Jefe, if we go in the church, they'll be able to kill us. No! You rely too much on the powers I've bestowed upon you. The priest is old. The others are mortals, injured mortals. It's fear you fear, nothing else. Yeah! Let's get out! Let's get out! Let's get out! <laughs> Father, what's wrong with her? She carries a fire child within. What the hell are you talking about? She can't possibly be pregnant. Babylon reborn. The Antichrist. Oh, perfect. No, that's ridiculous. She's just sick. Padre, you didn't answer my question. How do I stop him? He will be at his weakest when he sets foot on holy ground. Here you can spill his blood. That's no real kind of answer now, is it, Padre? May the Virgin of Guadalupe pray for us sinners oh, no. now and at the hour of our death. <laughs> it's all I have left to offer. <laughs> Magic, right. Magic mumbo-jumbo. We gotta barricade this door. Carrie! Do I? Come give me a hand with this pew. <laughs> come they're, on, girl. They're immortal. What the hell are we supposed to do? We're gonna fight for goddamn lives. Thanks, moving. <laughs> so warm. Light's filling me up inside. What should we do? We must place her on the altar, now! Get it out. What are we gonna do? Find yourself a weapon. Okay. I really don't like this. Good choice. Never hurts to have Jesus on your side. Like she said. My eyes. Oh God, the things I can see. Oh. Are you sure you can help her? She is beyond redemption. Her blood must anoint the holy of holies. No! No! No, stop! What are you doing? Whatever I must to save her soul and the life of the world! Oh, she's my wife! Ah! 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 Ah!
Tessa, what the hell are you doing? Hey, Tessa, let go! The baby's hungry. Pathetic garbage. This is it. You are Dios. No evil took my grandfather's life, but you will kill no more. You can't stop me. You never could stop me. Padre, Padre, I'm going to need you to work some of that mumbo-jumbo. I don't know how to kill these guys. My knives aren't working. Back off. You're nothing. You and your pagan religion. fuego, talk, Maria, yep, you did good. You did good, Father. Fight evil with evil. God alone is not enough. Take this amulet to her. She must use it against him. Maybe you better wait in here for a minute. Come on, man, tire and feet down! Danny, Danny, come on. We gotta go. We're leaving. Gotta help her. I'm open to suggestions. I don't know. Maybe we could. You gotta save me, please. I will. Looks like I owe you some death, cabron. You think you can take me? Shut up and do it! <laughs> Your knives are weak, just like you, Bob. Now, don't you see the fruitlessness of your actions? This child must be born. His time has come just as yours has passed. If it's any consolation, you fought well. First real challenge I've had in 70 years. We've got a son to deliver.
Use this against him. You're the only one who can. Crowley was right. You can't contain it. You never could. <laughs> Child is mine by right. What makes you think you can contain hell, little man? The old priest thought that that granted him protection. He invested with power he never had. But I have the power now. No. The old my Together we can. Carrie, uh, oh, the baby's coming. What? What's inside of you? My baby, Carrie. Carrie, please, you gotta help me. Oh, Carrie, you're my friend. Just, oh God. Oh. oh, oh. I couldn't stop him. Tess? Jesus. What happened to Gary? Is everybody dead? Come closer, Danny. I have something to show you. What? What is it? It's a boy. How can that be? It's a miracle, Danny. How is this possible? Aren't you happy for us? We're a family now. Yeah. I'm sure it has. All right, we gotta get out of here before they come back to life. Oh, they won't.